Sure. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this next problem on the worksheet says it is found that 1.1 times 10 to the negative 2 grams of strontium fluoride dissolves per 100 mils of aqueous solution at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the solubility product for strontium fluoride. So, solubility product, do you remember what that is? KSP. KSP, right? So, how do we calculate <coughs> KSP? What do we need to calculate KSP? The concentrations of... Yeah, so we're going to have to take this and get the chemical equation, right? So, in order to figure out all of that, right? So. Okay, so like you said, the concentrations over here, but we've got to know what they are, right? So what would be one of them here? Um, strontium 2 plus. Very good, yeah. Strontium 2 plus ion. <coughs> and can you do the other one, or should I help you? Uh, 2F minus. Yeah, so the 2 fluoride ion. So what are we saying here? For every two fluorides that come into contact with one strontium 2 plus, right, we get one uh, strontium fluoride, okay? So from that, we should be able to figure out, well, what's the KSP, right? So um, I'll just write it down if you have any questions about why it is. Just let me know. Like that, right? So this 2 there comes from the coefficient, and in fact, since there's no um, superscript here, we know that the coefficient there is 1, mm -hmm. okay? So we're going to have to figure out the concentrations of these things, okay? But we have grams and milliliters. So from that, that's grams and milliliters of the solution of strontium fluoride, not of strontium 2 plus and fluoride ions, okay? So we're going to have to convert all of this information to useful information to plug into this, okay? So, uh, let's do that. So, um, I took the liberty of calculating the molar mass of strontium fluoride earlier. Let's write that down. Did you do it? So we have this many grams, so the number of moles we should have, I'm trying to squeeze things in there, hopefully you can see that on the Okay, I get 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative fifth moles of strontium fluoride. Okay, but that's not the molarity, okay, or the molar solubility, whatever you prefer. So, how do we do that? Well, we're going to have to take the moles and divide it by the volume, right? But we're going to have to convert that volume to liters. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to think about it, we can do that now. So, for every thousand mils, we have one liter. So, right, so it's going to be 0 0.1 so it's 0 liters. And we're going to take that, the moles, so we'll just say moles per liter for molar solubility. Okay. Um, it's going to be 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative moles, fifth moles of strontium fluoride, and then divide that by 0 0.100 um, liters of solution. Okay. So when we do that, that should give us 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 4 um, moles per liter. So that's going to be the molar solubility there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Does that make sense? So if you want to calculate that out, okay?
okay, if you can't do that in your head. Okay, so that, that is effectively, if you want to think of it, like the concentration of strontium fluoride in this equation here. So we're going to have to figure out, well, well, we know the concentration of strontium fluoride, but we're going to have to figure out now the concentration of strontium 2 plus and the concentration of fluoride ions, right? So let's just kind of say, maybe that'll help us out in thinking about it. Okay, so we want to know, well, if we know the concentration of strontium fluoride, what's that? Concentration of strontium 2 plus ions? Well, it's a 1 to 1 ratio here in the chemical equation. So we're going to have a 1 to 1 ratio of these things. Okay, so it's going to be 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 4 molar SR2 plus. Okay, and remember, in brackets is molarity. Okay. So how do we figure out fluoride though? Okay, so it's not squared, right? We're going to use the coefficient here and multiply it by. Okay? So we know this, multiply it by that coefficient. If you want to think about it formally, it would be something like this. Here, let's just say molarity. So for every one molar you're going to have two molar F minus. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that help you out mm -hmm. thinking about it? Or you probably could have done that on your own. Right? Just to put a two in front of it on a test, it makes, <laughs> makes it a lot faster, right? But it's good to think about it. So, what would be our concentration of F minus? It would be two times that. So, two times uh, one point eight times ten to the negative four molar. Okay. So now we have this and we have this and we want that. So let's just plug and chug, okay? So KSP is going to be strong ten eight point eight times ten to the negative four. Now remember, KSP doesn't have units, so let's not stick them in there as to confuse ourselves. 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. We got to square that one. So I'm just going to go ahead and square that. Multiply it by. And the KSP, again, you should expect it to be a very small number. So if you get a large number, then you know you've probably done something incorrect. Um, and in this one, it's going to be 2.7 times 10 to the negative 11. So that's the KSP of strontium fluoride at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay? Are there any questions on that one, or none, okay. one, none whatsoever? You get it? Look good with that? You guys want to get out of here, huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> kill it.